Yeah, to see well, um, 2009, around 2009, uh, in Berlin. Um, actually, it started from the uh, poetic uh, part, like not music but lyrics. But it came first into the project because I, after my masters, I ended up with so much and uh, different kind of uh, uh, different poetry from my homeland, from Azerbaijan. Uh, that I I heard it as music in my head when I was reading there. Uh, so that's how it developed. Uh, you put there. See. Do you want to add something? Yes. Yeah, it started kind of naturally. We we were think, talking of this uh, text this so-called Mehana poetry from the uh, Caucasus area, and thought like, okay, let's try something, just uh, yeah. do something. And, and uh, I had some uh, music maybe lying around that we added then to, or that we also did something from the scratch because the rhythm was a bit different than usual for the four um, as a starting one. But then we started like playing around with it and developed it quite naturally. Well, so we had few songs and then we decided, okay, we try to perform with or play, play, do a record of it and then. Yeah. I'll have two albums already. Yeah. Yeah, I was curious a little about this Mekanon genre. So I read it's usually composed with a guitar. No, no. no. Uh, with a finger, originally, uh, fingers, what? Finger snapping at wedding. Yeah, it's a For part of a uh, wedding culture. It's like a live concert in the weddings uh, where uh, a groom's wedding party where all the men are uh, invited. And this is, it's an improvisation. Uh, so they improvise these um, socio-critical texts. Or origin of it is like this. It started as an opposition or critical uh, poetry in very uh, closed environments. And you know, and uh, whoever delivers best critical um, text, and people applauded to it, and the other one, it was kind of pattern who is best. Um, but after the resolution of the Soviet, it became more um, uh, uh, mainstream. Uh, even um, they were making. TV shows of it, and uh, people started using it. Actually, it's a quite professional uh, art because they make money out of it. Like those who are good, they are invited to the weddings to perform it. So it becomes also a profession, not only some guys in the street corner or in a wedding just battling with each other, but yeah, also used as a profession. Uh, so I, when I was traveling around Kapusa suburbs, I gathered these improvisations old because they are usually not recorded, or if they are recorded, it's the cassette from the wedding, uh, which I transcribed in the 80s, 70s, even before Soviet. But before Soviet, it had another uh, form. It wasn't wedding culture. It was more street, street culture. Yeah. Uh, uh, I actually use them as they are. I don't change them so much. Uh, and they're very topical, uh, like folk, folk music, because one is for example about money. This with the guitar, with Rahman uh, Lemmerle has played the guitar on it. Uh, it's about money and its meaning in the society and like uh, how it's valued more uh, than and uh, other normal moral values in the society. Uh, There's a lot of context. Yeah, it's context. 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 No, you have to know what... Uh, it's, it's very hard. You should translate all of them for people to see. Yeah. And know the time it happened yeah. and what yes. was in the society, but what's political, uh, what was going on that they was produced then and uh, exactly at that location. 
for these people. Like, uh, there is a bad one man power, for example, about the uh, uh, like guy with a bad reputation, he was a barber in this village, and they made the uh, uh, mechana for him. And if you are ready to, it will be very abstract, but it has a, a historical meaning, you know. And you can even trace the price of egg or price of bread in 1920s, like in Baku. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, but later on the second album, there's yeah. also other texts. Yeah. Only me. I evolved. That's <laughs> stuff to, to use. <laughs> to use. Uh, also, love culture. I, I didn't do so before, but it's also, yeah, the, the, it, it has no, not only me, but also other texts of contemporary point. And we, the phone book, we are different, different now. They're, I think four or five for this last album with Mehana, but rest are not, not to. Yeah, I have, uh, we have had a chance to play in one for once. Good again. 19, 2000, like. When, yes, 2019, just before COVID started. We, yeah. Once and, and you, I, I believe you have a lot of fans, fan base in Baku, but. I don't know the, if the young people understood the context of Wekara so well or yeah. the historical. No, but they are, they are in, it's in their blood. You don't have to explain it for them. They, are, they grew up with that, uh, this written um, uh, and this kind of, because we have it in the movies also, like, right. uh, yeah. So they, they, yeah. But it's also different to have uh, some Azerbaijanis coming to concert in Berlin, or uh, uh, it's also very different settings because what like, you see, like 10 people there going crazy and singing, they know the text, and others uh, use this uh, singing as an instrument, not necessarily like Lisa, what, what she's saying, but yeah, you also, yeah, but you, it was really nice. I would like to perform to Baku against Book Queen. <laughs> Yeah, we will. Inshallah. Yeah, yeah. Excellently. It'll be I don't know. I can I forget my dreams, you know. I've actually been thinking so much. Why don't I remember my dreams so well? Sometimes I do, very often I don't. I had this when I was a child. But you, yeah, door, with God me. Yeah, there was a secret door in our house in this tree. And, uh, then sometimes I started from the yard, backyard and went into the house, or sometimes I found the secret door. Uh, it was a bit weird. I had it many times, and I don't know when the thing came from. But it has this nightmare kind of depressing feeling, I guess. I know that there's some secret passage, like a, the second uh, stairs behind the wall. But that sounds horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't have it in. Yeah, well, this is a good question. Uh, how did we come up with the name of El Tasiba? It was your idea, but how? how you... Yeah. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. You, you were called to DJ Zuzu. First. Yeah, I, I used to, before I started to produce, I was teaching in Oslo. Uh, and my DJ, he was DJ Zuzu. So, but the other service when I do live, uh, when we do our own music, uh, and later when I was DJ, also I was called DJ in Yato Siba. Not like Zuzu dropped after a while. But Yato Siba, um, the, the, it comes from a Soviet time televised, like theater piece. Um, uh, where it's it's very sad story actually. There is a, a guy who has lost all his family, but no one visits him. They are lonely and they are all isolated from each other. So he has this idea of to uh, to invite them, but he has done it many times and no one comes to the. So he he scares them when he goes with this green glasses to this his relatives, and they are all different kind of people and. He gives them like scary gifts, like if you don't come that day to this house, uh, I will find you, I will kill you. All the little scared. 
And from this box, it gets on like uh, green and what drag and my drug, huh? uh, my head of dragon. And one of these people are a lady, she is a fortune teller. She used to tell the fortune with a, with a, like a, like one bench of ball and stuff, but he, she discovered computers. So she started to uh, fortune tell with the computers. Uh, and like she changed her belief to like more uh, like a spiritual tool technology and and uh, she was uh, saying that before she was saying like Ya Allah or something but now she reads the, the name of the computer and it's Toshiba but she reads it Toshiba and she was like Ya Toshiba Ya Toshiba so that's how it came because she was also uh, combining something from the history with very modern, like uh, we do also, so it felt like, so this guy came to our dogs in the middle of a section, keep this box. <laughs> and all of them gather at this place because they're scared, they're scared to die. But then it turns out perfect party. <laughs>